I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, it's Chris Bumbry here again for Joe Blow, just coming out of the CinemaCon presentation for the Universal titles, and man, what an amazing slate. Um, just to give you some impressions off of the videos that I saw, we got to see the first trailer for Michael Bay's Ambulance, which is basically, you take a heist movie, like Dog Day Afternoon, done in the 70s, but crank the budget up to like $100 million, and have it directed by Michael Bay, and that's pretty much what you get. So Yaha abdul Mantin II plays this war vet whose wife is terminally ill, she needs an operation that it's going to cost like 200k the insurance isn't paying for it enter his adopted brother played by jake gyllenhaal who happens to be a bank robber and offers to cut him in on the score so they rob a bank things go awry and mateen mateen mantine ends up shooting a, a, an lapd officer doesn't finish him off because he's not a killer. So what happens is the officer gets picked up by EMTs and the EMT in question, who's the star is Isa Gonzalez and they're taking him away in an ambulance and Jake Gyllenhaal and Mentine have to basically hijack the ambulance and flee from the LAPD who's trying to kill them because they think they're cop killers. Um, Looks like there's a ton of action in this movie. It's cool to see Jake Gyllenhaal in kind of anti-hero mode. You don't really see him shooting guns in movies, and it looks like there's a lot of action in this one. Um, I think that Mantine is is basically the star of the film. Um, it looks pretty exciting, and I think that the full trailer should drop soon because what they showed us looked very polished. The other one that looks really cool is Robert Eggers' The Northman, which is uh, basically based on the Scandinavian legend that inspired Hamlet. And Alexander Skarsgård plays the Hamlet-esque character, right, who's trying to avenge his father, the king, who's played by Ethan Hawke in this movie, who was murdered by, you know, an usurper to the throne. Uh, Nicole Kidman plays his mother, and Anya Taylor-Joy plays his love interest, who I, I guess is the Orphelia-type character. I mean, this one looks crazy violent. There's so much gore. I mean, what would you expect from a Robert Eggers movie? But funny enough, it actually looks like the most mainstream movie that he's ever done. I mean, it's definitely going to be a visceral, wild experience, but there's tons of action. It looks really exciting. It looks very frenetic. And in fact, the person who runs Focus Features came out after the trailer and said that this is definitely not the kind of thing that they would usually produce. But Eggers is completely insane and the movie is a masterpiece and I'm inclined to agree or it looks it, I'm inclined to agree with her it looks really cool they also showed a little footage from a movie that got me excited I don't know if it got everybody else excited but it's down to Nabby 2 um, this just started filming you really don't see much I think the biggest reveal for me is that Maggie Smith is back as granny because I had always heard that she was kind of sick of the role and wanted to leave and in the last movie they made it seem like she was dying but you know cut ahead a couple years later Nice big check for Granny, and she's back. Um, I love these movies. It always feels like returning home when you watch a Downton Abbey film. I'm unabashedly a fan of this. Um, got a look at Kenneth Branagh's Belfast starring Jamie Dornan. Um, this is basically an autobiographical movie shot in black and white about the troubles uh, in, in Belfast during the 1960s. Looks like a pretty entertaining movie. We saw a new trailer of Last Night at the Soho. Um, they gave away a little bit more of the plot that I'm not gonna reveal in my video. If you wanna look at actually what, what the plot is, you can go check out the article on Joe Blow. I put a big spoiler warning on it and um, that'll give you an idea, but it, it looks, suffice to say, it looks very Edgar Wright and very cool. Um, we also saw a little bit of footage from the, the, the 355, which is the, the all-female spy movie with Jessica Chastain. Looks like this one's a lot more Mission Impossible than Born Identity, uh, which is kind of cool. It's a big, broad, you know, $100 million plus action movie with an amazing cast. Uh, I'm sure that this will be a pretty entertaining movie when it comes out in January. Saw a little bit of De Dear Evan Hansen and, and a few other movies that Universal's putting out. Uh, looks like they've got a really strong slate. The one that they're hyped about is definitely Sing 2 because the last one made so much money. Um, in this one, there's, they're basically trying to get this elusive rock star to, to give an, a final performance, right? And the rock star is voiced by Bono, so of course all the music that they're singing is U2. And uh, the trailer is kind of scored by Scarlett Johansson and Bono duetting on I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For, which was, which was pretty neat. Otherwise, you know, that's about it. We saw footage from other movies too. Uh, if you want a full rundown, you could check it out on joebelow.com. And I'll be back with more from CinemaCon.